Hello and welcome back to yet another beautiful day in Atlas. So, I got a bit of an uh, honest thing to tell you. I haven't played this game probably about maybe nearly a week now. About the time I read the um, when I when I read about the whole ship going away, in my opinion, from what I understood, thing, I kind of lost a little bit of interest in this one uh, for a bit. I, I did have like one or two episodes that came out after that that I'd already recorded, so it doesn't mean that much of a wait between episodes. But anyway, it's since then and now, good news, I got my new graphics card. They do exist, they are out there. I got a 3080 from MSI, Gaming X Trio, or whatever. Bad news was, the day I got it, I plugged it in, it broke. It was broken. It didn't work. It was... <laughs> oh man, the level of disappointment that day. So many things went wrong for me that day. There was, I don't even know where to begin with. We'll just stick to the non-personal things, uh, like the graphics card. So, the graphics card, plugged it in, not detected, spent five hours trying to get it to work. Eventually, it just started up on its own. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. And then went to start my computer the next day, and it was broken again. So that was fun. Luckily, though, MSI has a repair center in Sydney here, where I live. It's about 30-odd minutes from my house. And I messaged them, got them to do an RMA request. I drove down because I didn't want to ship it because shipping takes forever. It, like, it's like three days minimum, assuming that they don't lose it. Uh, plus, I have to pay for shipping. So I <laughs> drove it down. Delivered it to them. They asked me to wait five minutes. And then they gave me a brand new graphics card. Literally, the guy said this one's straight from the factory. Um, please, you know, enjoy. <laughs> this one's working. They tested it. And I plugged it in and it's working perfectly. So, while a little bit frustrating, um, things happen sometimes. Nothing you can do about it. The only thing MSI can really can control is their customer service. And they did amazing, in my opinion. I mean, I only had to wait five minutes or so, and they just ran a few tests on the other one, and went like, yep, this one's buggered here, have another one. So, uh, I, I like smooth processes like that. It's not the first time, either, that I've had to deal with MSI in that. I had my old 1080, I think I've mentioned it before, that um, also died after about two years and ten months of owning it, so it only had two months warranty left, and they still replaced that one instantly for me. Basically the same situation, five minute wait, and then bam, here you go, here's a new one. I honestly, that the, the, it probably wasn't a new one, it was probably a refurbished one, but like I only had two months left on my warranty anyway, so I didn't care. And that one's worked beautifully ever since. That one is now sitting in my new 3080 box until I dig out the 1080 box to put it back into, which is in my garage, I think. Anyway, that's enough rambling on about my real life. Today, we get to enjoy Atlas in 80 frames a second. Instead of, I think like I was getting like 30 to 40. So, if you're curious if um, a 3080, how much performance boost it'll give you compared to a 1080 in an unoptimized game like this, uh, it's about double. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit under double performance. I'm getting 61 frames staring at here. Usually I'd get about 40 odd. So, yeah, pretty good. I'm happy with it. Excited. New graphics card. It's always fun. I finally my, I finally finished my new computer build that's taken me a year to build. Actually, a bit longer than a year. A year and a... About a year and a half, actually. But yeah, it's done. I'm good. Today, I have a special, a special plan for today's episode. And that is... I think it's time we build a pub. It's been a while since I built one. I do believe I did a bunch of farming the other day before I left... Uh, yeah, I got 80 of that, I got like 32,000, I don't want one of those, that's silly. 32,000 of that, we got 53,000, here we go. We should hopefully have enough resources. So I want to build a pub, and I'm thinking a, the best spot for the pub might be about here-ish. So we might start building here and going back into here. Uh, the pub's probably going to be... Mm, I'd say maybe the, about the same size as this warehouse production facility, I think. And I think that, that's my plan. So, uh, let's take these, because apparently I have these. Actually, can I take all of them? I don't need all of them, but yeah. Do I have any other walls by any chance? I do not. That's fine. 
building chest not having building materials in it. Who's, who was responsible that refill it? Oh, no, never mind, that was me. I was responsible. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm thinking we're going to have the pub here. I want to sort of have it straight on with that guy. Uh, can I have this up here? Like so. Just so I can have these ones a little bit higher than the grass. I don't necessarily want this one back here though. So, we'll probably make this pub, uh, like, uh, that big, yeah, then how far are we thinking, uh, okay, you want me to place you there, that's fine, um, should we have it about that wide, yeah, sure, why the hell not, we'll have it about that wide, and that means we will have to go about, like that. Yeah. Excellent. I like how these AA stuff give me the full block, whereas like the vanilla one will only give me like a half floor foundation. That's I, I do like that. I do prefer that building method. Um, means I use a lot less <laughs> materials. Uh, I, did I not place one here? I thought I did place one here. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do it this way. We can we can deal. We can deal. All right. So. Thinking the pub will be about that big. Actually, how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't like even. So maybe we'll do something like this. And I'll hide this part underneath something. Um, yeah. Alright, so where do I want the entrance to be, guys? I'm thinking <sighs> long ways. That's something different. A long ways entrance. Now, can I? Do I have any? I already. I, how many of those floors did I use? Well, um, it's just a small gate. Uh, let's have a look. Can I incorporate a small gate? I probably can. I was gonna say, could I incorporate this into the build in a way that I would be happy with? And I don't think that's gonna be the case. Yeah, that's way too big. I don't like that. That is not a small gate. <laughs> Fun funny enough, though, th this small gate's the only gate that, like, does the thing I like. Like, that archway. Get can I? Yeah, right-click. I love that archway in the gate up there. It just open. But this is the only gate that has it, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's too big. I want a smaller gate. Give me one, like, half the size of that one. And ironically, there actually is a gate that's half the size of this, but it doesn't do the archway. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it is what it is. I just have to breathe. Relax, Smokey. Don't lose your crap. Uh, hell, are you actually a small gateway? Uh, you are. Okay, great. Right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm thinking... Do I want it up high? Yeah. Maybe what I could do. Could I uh, get out of K mode? Because I can't remember the controls of this game, apparently. Do I have any normal foundations anywhere? Um, I don't. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, Robert just hopped in Discord quickly to tell me that he is apparently sick or something and dying so I should that he won't be on tonight or some excuse like that or I don't know bunch of softies yeah no he's alright he, he had um apparently he got the, the the I don't know he got some sort of medical flu or something I don't know <laughs> not the I don't, I don't, I don't know <laughs> not the bad thing that's going around oh actually I think he got I don't know <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you if he wants you to, if he wants to tell you. It's not my job to tell you that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, we're getting back on. We're getting off track here. We're gonna build a thing. So I'm thinking I've got the door like this, kind of like it. Um, I'm forgetting all the controls because I've been playing Valheim a lot lately, and uh, uh, the controls are different. So we've got our big door here. Opens up like so, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have like. Do I have any roofs? In stock. Do we have any roofs in stock? Let's have a look. Got that one, but that one's not the one I need. Those are fancy ones. 
Uh, you know, yeah, sure. Let's use some stone roofs. All right. So what I'm thinking is, okay, I want it like a elephant move, <laughs> move. You're in the way. I gotta do something about these damn animals too. They need their own place to live. This is ridiculous. I nearly lost. I needs blue the earlier today to a tiger that somehow spawned like there or something and attacked it. I don't know. But it got past all my other animals and nearly got the cow. The cow. So I'm thinking I want something like that. Um, kind of like a little entranceway or whatever you want to call it. Pathway up the top. We'll have to put another one here actually. I just noticed. Just for OCD evenness reasons. Okay, go away. But you come up here and this will be like the entrance and we're going to have like a long pub. I think this time. Usually I have an entrance coming off the middle here. I thought the middle here would be a nice change of pace. So what I'm thinking is the walls are probably going to just go around here. It's like just a bog standard one. I'm not going to really put any balcony on it this time. There'll probably probably would be one here. About yay big. Um, just off the front here. But I'm not going to put any balconies on the side because I kind of always do that. And maybe as well with this one. Um, how did that one break? Maybe with this one as well. I'm just trying to think. This is not even. This pub is not even. This is, okay, well... I guess the pub has to go one more block out this way then because I can't have an uneven pub I think it, it needs to be even like that yeah anyway so what I'm thinking is we'll have that come around obviously like so over here is going to be like the little bar section so I can hide this bit here uh, into an area where you can't really see it gonna have to accept the grass there's nothing I can do about it and then mm, I might do something fancy with the with the building roof there. I don't know. So I'm gonna get to work building this thing, and then once we come back, we can have a real proper look at it. What do you all think? You think that's a good idea? I think that'd be a great idea. Alrighty. So I've been hard at work, and remember when I said it's gonna be about the same size as that warehouse there? Well, it's not. Oh, and I named it. I called it the Craven. I don't know why, I just did. So here we go, let's have a look at the inside. This is what I've got, a nice big open area here. We'll have our bar here. You know, you come up here and that's like a footstool or something. And we put some chairs here or something, have a look out. I'll put some tables around here. And of course you come up here, another little area, a few more tables, some little rooms I think. So what we're going to do now is we've got to uh, decorate, decorate, decorate the pub. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to place down the sign. Um, how do you do this? So we go like this. That's not the way that, that's not the sign. I, did I grab the wrong sign? Why did I grab an armory sign? That's not what this sign said. Wait, is this like a thing where I can change it? Oh, yep, I can. Okay, never mind. Helps if I pay attention to the things. Alright, let's go here. Can I... Can I stick that there like so? Look at that. Got a nice little pub sign. Just in case people weren't aware that this is a pub. Alright, so we're going to come in here. Now, what I'm thinking is we got to put down some of these things. So, first up, we got to have our... Wine bottle rack. I've never actually used these before, so I'm not exactly sure how this <laughs> this works. So we got our door here. So let's put a bottle rack there. Okay, this is not at all a actual convenient way to place this. So we're just gonna have to do what I can. There we go. We got some two bottle racks there. Um, actually, you know what? Hmm. Can we move this, and we'll move this one as well, and then we're going to put down this here, like so, 
and then we'll jump up here and then we'll put this like that yeah and then we'll try and sort of match this one um eh, it's kind of hard okay there you go that's that's weird <laughs> that, that's a weird way to place it but there we go we got a bunch of wine racks I'm not sure what else we could put back here to decorate. Oh, I'm sure I can think of something. We'll have to put a bunch of uh, empty bottles and stuff. Uh, I'll chuck those up later. Now, where would we want a giant bull's head? Maybe here? Sure? Yeah. Why the hell not? Okay. And then, of course, we've got our shark, which is going to be over the door. Because I just kind of feel like that's where I should put it. There we go. So there we go. This place is starting to come along. We're getting there. Now, I've got a giant area rug, so I'm thinking I want to put that in the middle. So, technically, this would be the middle here. Boom. Uh, we're going to lower the rug. If I lower one more, okay. Mm. Nope, bugger it. We're going to leave it like that. I don't want it sticking up too high. I did not make any chairs. That was intelligent. All right, so we're going to place down a few of these. Put one at the front of that window, one in front of that window, maybe like here. I don't want these to be neat. I kind of want these to be all over the place a little bit. Um, I don't know why, as I make everything symmetrical. Yeah, let's yeah, let's sort of make this one go like here, right? And then we'll have this one in this corner here. Because I always make everything symmetrical. And I, I feel like this time I kind of just want everything willy-nilly thrown all over the place. See how that goes. Sorry if it throws your OCD into crazy mode. Um, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying something different. All right. We don't. I don't do that very often. All right. Now we can make some of these decorated like so, just to make the place look like it's livened up a little. Boom, boom, uh, boom. We'll go with this one and then maybe this one here. There we go. We're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, now I did want to make like a little kitchen area. Hmm. Maybe we'll make the kitchen area this room. Can I fit it in here? Is that even, is that even going to be a possibility? Um. So kind of want you to come out and. Have you like that? Okay, you're not clipping into the other room, are you? Nope. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put just a grill here because why the hell not? Um, and an icebox. Is that facing the right way? Excellent. Now, I haven't got any sacks, but eventually I'll put a bunch of sacks in here. And this will be like the little kitchen area yep okay in here we're gonna have a bath because i think these are going to be like little private rooms for people to hire if they want some privacy for whatever reason who knows what people get up to i'm certainly not here to judge or control that and then i guess we gotta we gotta hang some of these up so we got this stairwell here so i'm thinking i want those attached there Let's see, here, right above me would be there. Can I get it? I can't get it, okay. It's okay, I, I have an idea. It's fine. The game will not beat me. I am in charge. Not the game. Alright, so just bam, like that. Pick that up like so. Excellent, excellent. And then maybe we'll put one like here. I was going to put one there, but I think that's a bit too close to the shark. Alright, and then we'll put one here in the middle here as well. And then two behind the bar, I think. So I'll put one, like, right there. That's not right. I want you to be there. Okay, and then right here as well. That should be good. I can't get over the things. I put a door here, didn't I? I did. Okay. Boom. Excellent. Excellent. The spire's actually coming on quite nicely. I wish there was a few more. I wish there was more decorative blocks in this game, to be honest with you. Alright, so skulls. Skulls are going to go on each desk. Bam. 
Bam. Bam. Yeah, you guys moved it for some reason. You shouldn't move the skulls, guys. Please don't touch the skulls. These are former patrons who were stupid enough to get into a fight behind the bar and are now permanent, <laughs> decor permanent decorations. There we go. Didn't put any upstairs because I ran out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I think we need to do a few more decorative things, but I just... But what decorative stuff do I even have in this game anymore? I don't even remember. Like, obviously... Um, we got this planter decor. We should probably chuck a few of those somewhere. Uh, how do I make the planter? I don't even remember. Planter. There it is. Give me... Not that many. Just give me, like, five of those. Um... Just to give me some greenery inside that place. And I, I just... Mm. I'm going to have to put beds in the... Beds in the... Um, uh, uh, the empty rooms up there. You know, give me a couple of these mortar and pestles. I think I can maybe make those look like plates. And of course we need chairs. Did I even make chairs? I didn't make chairs. Okay. Um, 15, 10, 20. 15, 10, 20. And 15, 10, 20. Well... I guess we're all going to have fancy chairs because this is a pub and everyone needs to be comfortable. So don't make me 100, make me 40 for now and I'll place those down and we can come have a look at our finished product. Alright, you ready to have a look at the semi-completed product? Uh, sure, here it is, bam! The nice and com sort of completed pub. Now, those little planters can be modified to change into three different options. The little planter that you saw, and you got these little hanging ones, and these windowsill ones. I actually really like these windowsill ones, I'm going to be honest. I think they're pretty cool. I might have to start incorporating them more into more of my builds. But yeah, we come in here. I got the gamma set to normal, and this is what the pub looks like on the inside. I'm liking it. It's pretty cool. Pretty chill, relaxed. Come in, you got this, you got a nice little bartender area to serve people we got some dirty dishes i'm going to pretend that's where they this is some sort of storeroom where they saw mops and buckets it's not it's just a giant big pile of grass <laughs> but you know nothing i can do about that but here we are here's our little tavern the first tavern on this server or at least in on my town i'm surprised it actually took me this long to build it i didn't actually do anything in here i forgot about here i'm gonna be honest uh, it was a straight up me forgetting thing. I got to all I gotta do is chuck a bed in there, so uh, that's all. I might chuck a desk actually as well, like staring outside this window and then a bed in this corner. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's the pub. I'm quite happy with it. I think it came out pretty well. Uh, we got a nice view on this balcony overlooking the bay. Can't see any of the ships, but that's fine. It is what it is. So if you like this episode. I'm going to give it a like. Sorry, I'm about to have the hiccups. Um, any ideas on how to decorate this place, if you've got any, I wouldn't, I, I, I'll be happy to have a look at them, see how they go. But you know, but that's going to be it for now. My English just completely failed me. Um, yeah, forgot the outro. Been a, been a minute since I've had to do it. Uh, that's it for now. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, peace, ciao, whatever. God damn it, Smokey, that is just terrible.